Hello, this is Ben O'Dell with Ramshock Software. I'm the president and the creator of the high definition 1080p video screensaver. Uh, the screensaver is capable of displaying uh, nearly any kind of video file that uh, Windows Media Player 11 will display. It will also play visualizations if you're playing an audio file. Um, just to uh, demonstrate this screensaver, it's also capable of displaying uh, the cartoons or videos or whatever it is you're watching on uh, multiple monitors. It will automatically detect up to uh, three additional connected monitors for a total of four monitors. And to demonstrate that uh, this, these other three external monitors are connected to this laptop, I'm going to pass the display properties dialog box from uh, screen to screen or monitor to monitor and there we are we have three external monitors connected to this laptop now the easiest way to get to the display properties screensaver tab uh, without having to go to the control panel is just right click on your desktop wallpaper here with your right mouse button and then click on uh, properties in Windows uh, Vista, it'll pull up another dialog box and you click on screensaver and in, Win in Windows 7 it'll call up your wallpaper dialog and your screensaver will be listed down on the bottom right and you can click on it but instead of saying properties it will say personalize. We're going to click on properties because we're doing this in Windows XP. Pulls up the display properties dialog box and we're going to click on the screensaver tab and we've already made our selections in here by clicking on the settings button the splash screen will come up it'll go away in five seconds or you can click on it and it'll go away and you can choose from full screen to uh, let's see one two three four five smaller screen sizes the smaller screen sizes will float around on the screen bumping off the edges and um, you can have a gradient background that you can turn on and off and I'll demonstrate that shortly. But for the moment we're going to view the videos in full screen. We're also going to play multiple uh, video files and we have them chosen in random order instead of order of selection. And we're going to just go ahead and click OK on this and we're going to preview the screensaver. Now if you notice we have numbers these are videos with numbers in them and the reason I created the numbers was for testing purposes because they all run for roughly three seconds each and with its with the screensaver set to random and the numbers only appearing for three seconds it will force the program for demonstration purposes it will force the program to show different videos on each screen now the only screen that will have any audio on it will be this first screen, your, your primary or your main um, laptop or desktop man, uh, main monitor, your default monitor. And eventually this number 9 will go away and it will eventually uh, choose a, a video at random because with it set to random these other three screens will also display videos at random but they will not um, have any audio. The audio is turned off on them. It's just done It's done that way for, for variation and uh, I thought it might make the screen server a little more interesting. These are public domain cartoons. They're MPEGs and uh, MPEGs release from the screen server much faster. High definition videos like high definition WMVs and 1080p videos, MTS, M2TS and M2T videos they take a little while to, to release so if you're used to like I just click the mouse button and you can see that the screensaver released fairly quickly uh, if you're playing a high definition video sometimes it will not release quickly it takes it takes it a few moments and the videos will kind of appear to hang but it will eventually release um, I'm gonna click on the preview button again and we see all 12s these little three second videos and they're, they're numbered 1 to 15 and that's all they show is number 1 is the number 1 video 1.mpg that one's 3.mpg 
and they're all for roughly three seconds each and there again for demonstration purposes it causes the it causes enough of a delay in the uh, screensaver queue that it uh, forces all all four monitors to play a separate video sometimes it'll start they'll all start on the same video and if one ends a little quicker than the other one it will move to a random video and there we have Woody Woodpecker and Little Boy in Blue and the Dover Boys and Superman playing on all different monitors from the same computer. I'm going to trip the screensaver again and I'm going to change the settings to one of the smaller screen sizes and we're going to have it float around on the screen and we're going to turn on the uh, gradient background. I'm going to click OK and we're going to preview it. last two tripped and then finally that one tripped. We got Mighty Mouse and then a Porky Pig cartoon, a Casper cartoon and a Betty Boop cartoon playing on separate monitors. Okay now it takes a lot of processor power to run high definition videos. MPEGs are a little easier to play it doesn't take quite as much power. Um, there will be a little hesitation depending on the power of your processor. This, uh, this computer is a little Acer laptop and I bought it back in 2007, October. And uh, it's a Core 2 Duo. It does a pretty good job. Uh, if you have a quad core or an i3, an i5, or an i7 processor, then uh, you'll have a lot more power to deal with and you can play high definition videos and it'll it'll uh, look more, much more impressive. Uh, let me show you one of the features that uh, I built into the screensaver just in case you don't have a lot of processor power you can check this box up here that says check here to display the video and uh, multimedia file on primary display only and then you can either choose a blank screen for these other three screens or you can have it show uh, cascading symbols on the extended monitors only and if you click OK with with the top one selected and then you click OK on this and if you preview the screensaver the main monitor will display a video and the other three monitors will display cascading uh, symbols that looks uh, like the, uh, the matrix code on the movie. And I'm going to trip the screensaver. They all trip out pretty quick. I'm going to go back to uh, full screen and uh, I'm going to watch preview the screensaver again. There it starts out with the number four like I said, I just put those videos in there just so that it would mix it up and cause the other screens to trip a little faster and actually display a random video. There we have an old novel tune cartoon playing and uh, we have the matrix code, the cascading symbols falling on the other three monitors. Now you probably won't be able to see it very well, but I'm going to go ahead and choose a high definition video to display. And um, I'll show you, maybe you might be able to see it.
Okay, now that we've watched this one for a few seconds, I'm going to trip out the screensaver, and if you'll notice, it's going to kind of hesitate because it's dumping that high definition video from memory. It takes a little longer to trip out. I'm going to change the settings back over to show that video on all of the screens, and you'll see some of the hesitation in screen two, three, and four that, that I was telling you about because it takes quite a bit of processor power to, uh, to render to the screen a high definition video. See, it's a little choppy. It's a, it's a lot of work for this little Core 2 Duo, but it'll play it. You might not be able to see it very well, but it is kind of hesitating a little bit on uh, basically all the monitors. And now I've tripped the screensaver, and there again, it's taking a little bit to dump the videos. So you just have to be patient if you're going to run a high definition video for it to trip out. Okay, let's go back over here. We're going to um, tell it to go back to playing random video files and they're, they're all cartoons in the public domain. And uh, one more time I'm going to preview the screensaver using the public domain cartoons. There again, it starts out with a number. Second one tripped into a video. Number one tripped into a video. Number three tripped into a video. And number four monitor will trip into a video here pretty quick. There we go. Now on the tail end of this video shot from uh, the camcorder I'm going to do some screenshots and dub them into the end of it that show the basic operation of the different screens and it'll be up close and you'll be able to see it because I'm going to be using a screen capture video creation utility that'll make it much easier to see what I was doing. So stay tuned and uh, we'll get started on that here in just a little bit, okay?